Hello Sycamore, happy Thursday. Today is November 2nd, 2023, and welcome to this episode of our awesome daily video announcements. I'm Chloe. And hello, I'm Gabby. Now let's please stand, place a hand over our heart, and honor this wonderful country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, please be seated. Next up, National Day! Wow, there are a lot of national days. Well, today is the Day of the Dead, National Favorite Colors Day, and National Ohio Days. I love Ohio, it just low-key slays. Now over to... I'm Myra. And I'm Allie. We're here with your clubs and activities announcements. Technology Club starts today. If you're interested in all things tech, there will be a brief informational meeting after school today, November 2nd from 3.20 to 3.45 in room 2127, Mr. Schuster's classroom, just above the Media Center. You will need a ride home. If you cannot attend, please email Mr. Brenner or Mr. Gudemuth for more information. Friday, November 3rd, our report cards will be posted. Also, tomorrow, the PBIS cart will be open during lunchtime. The cart will be available on Friday during lunch. Students should bring their PBIS tickets to either purchase items from the cart or enter them into a drawing for a flex class pizza party. Mark, Mark your, your calendars. calendars. November 7th, next Tuesday, the new Sycamore Junior High Dance Team has a clinic. Will you learn to dance for the audition from 6 to 8 p.m. in the choir room? Auditions will be held the next day, Wednesday, November 8th, at 6 p.m. in the choir room as well. Next Friday, November 10th, we will have no school due to family conferences. Wrestling. Good morning, Sycamore! I'm Captain Aviator, and I'm here to talk about our upcoming wrestling season. Typically in the fall season, we have about 350 athletes, and in the winter season, we only have about 200. That means there are 150 athletes out there not doing anything all winter long. Many of these athletes were cut from basketball or didn't think they could make the team. I'm here to tell you that wrestling is the only non-cut winter sport. You wrestle people your own size and your own experience level. We have an A team for the experienced wrestlers and a B team for the athletes who are just getting started. We will start off the season with the most basic steps, so you do not, you do not need to know anything or have any prior experience going into the season. These are entry years to the sport. About 98% of our team never wrestled until junior high. Girls and boys are both encouraged to wrestle. The first step is to sign up on final forms so I can email you the information. If you get cut from the basketball team and want to give wrestling a try, just change your sport over in final forms or just show up. We don't care. I'm not going to lie to you. Wrestling is a very physically demanding sport. It is very difficult and very challenging, but it is also very rewarding. If you plan on coming out, we'll get started on Monday, November 13th. We'll see you there! Woo! Wow. Thanks, Captain Aviator. Did you see his mask? And that was pretty cool, right? Wrestling starts November 13th. If you are interested, sign up on the final forms or ask Coach Foley how to get started. November 20th and 21st, no school for students. Teacher have professional development days and everyone enjoys three days off from November 22nd to November 24th for Thanksgiving break. You mean we get a week off for Thanksgiving? Yeah, more time with family and friends. That's pretty cool. Birthdays! Happy birthday to students celebrating today. Lucy S. and O and D. We hope you have a great birthday. That's all we have for our clubs and activities announcements today. Back to our crew. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern and Mr. Rodriguez here uh, to do this week's character awards. And the award that I have this week, it is uh, nominated by a student. And of course, we, we don't know which student nominated. Uh, but the student that they nominated is Isabel Holje. And it says, she is always there for me and does her best to help in every situation. She's kind, she has a big heart for others, and always has others' best interest at heart. She can always share smiles and laughs with everyone she sees. And, you know, when I was uh, talking to some of the students in the news crew about Isabel, um, they all raved and said this was a perfect nomination. So I'm glad that uh, they got this one right. Fantastic. I had the privilege of going to Mr. Jones Flex Bell, and there I received a card for Claire Troyer. 
Claire. Uh, this person says, I've only known you for two and a half years, yet you have impacted me greatly. You're always willing to help, talk, listen, and hang out with you. hanging out with you is always something to look forward to. So thank you for being in my life. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah, no, no doubt. Hey, uh, any idea where we're going this week? You know, I was afraid you were going to ask me, so, Mr. Stern, where are we going this week? Uh, I, I have no idea where we're going this week, but we, we will find out when we show up, because, hey, we show up on Thursdays, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Next up, the joke, joke of the day. day. What does the dinner plate say to the fork? I don't know. What? Dinner's on me. Remember to follow PBIS expectations and be the best version of yourself. Have an amazing day, Sycamore Ann. Go Waves! I'm Gabby and I'm here with... Jeff. Um, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for this interview and for the two of you doing a good job. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Chloe and I'm here with... Mrs. Kirshner, the school treasurer. What are you thankful for? What am I thankful for? I'm thankful for my health, my family, and to work at Sycamore Junior High. Thank you. I'm Chloe and I'm here with... Mrs. Proctor. What are you thankful for? I am thankful for my friends and family and my job. Thank you. Thank you.